It's late December, and streets in Iowa City are pretty much empty. Most students have gone home for the holiday break. Top man on. Hit it. Coach Zaleski's Hawkeyes are still undefeated. Early uncertainty is slowly giving way to confidence. Bring the heel to the nose, the foot to the nose. Push back. Now get your arm across. Get your arm. There you go. Now I do that about a hundred times, and then you can start picking up your pace. You get the feel. The name Josh Budke is rarely mentioned. Mike Zadek now openly says that he and his team will win it all. During practice, that's usually when you're in there thinking about wrestling. When you're not in there, you know, wrestling, you try to block that out, and you know, so you're, it's not always on your mind and wearing you down. This jackass is going to let me in here. I like to think about other things like family and friends and not always wrestling. In those brief moments when he allows thought to turn away from the mat, Zadok is drawn to one place, the high country, Montana, home. I was very tough, very tough on him. People complained about it, complained about me being tough. And I've even had people accuse me of child abuse. And threat to turn me in. Wrestling was more important to me than to see him be an A student. My wife kind of balanced that and she made sure that they did their schoolwork. But I was probably overboard. Great Falls, Montana. Bob Zadek built a reputation here for fair trade. He made sure his boys knew the value of honest work the importance of a man's word. From the time they were about eight, nine years old, I had them climb the rope. Here. When I started them climbing it, they'd climb it uh, two or three times. And uh, they, got, they built it up so they go up this 21 times a day. And I don't think he took it as seriously as we did at that age. But some of these East Coast resorts had... Uh, His gym bag always had Hot Wheel cars in it or it had uh, an extra snack in it, just in case you got a little bored with the tournament. I was a big cream puff, if you want to call them there, a, a marshmallow. But as I grew older, my brother started succeeding a lot more. He became a four-time state champion, and that's when it really hit me. I'm going to be a freshman in high school pretty soon here. I better start, you know, turn the corner. Like his brother, he won four state titles. Along the way, he built a reputation of his own for being just plain mean. It's not just winning, but totally dominating him in every single position there is on the mat. Hey! He goes out of his way to say that I am the best, I will win, I'm gonna shove it up your rear. Here I come, whether you like it or not. That takes a lot of courage. I always told them, even at an early age, that you're the best five-year-old in the world. There's nobody in the world that can beat you. And uh, I believe that. I believe that was true. My ultimate number one goal is to win the national title. It's number one. I'm not driving anybody. It's a long road to the national crown. The tournament is still months away. Somewhere. No. no, we aren't. What are we doing? We're going to Walcott. What's that? It's a truck stop. How far? 50 miles. Off. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm going to get something. Well, if you're going to organize, so get there at 10 after 11, you'd be organized. You'd have any something to eat, wouldn't you? I was organized all day. Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Scheduled. I'm a busy man. Yeah. Next stop, Chicago. It's time to find out how good the Hawkeyes really are.
No, I think Marco did. This kid knows how to eat. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> the famous bread. I'm hungry too. It's late December. And so far, winter hasn't had much bite. Lake Michigan is iced just along its edge. Every year at this time, the best wrestlers in the country make a pilgrimage to Chicago. It's called the Midlands Tournament, and like the city that hosts it, this is a no-frills, blue-collar, bare-knuckle get-together. Coaches bring their kids here to find out what's right and what's wrong. For me, it was more of an individual emphasis on this tournament than anything else. Not so much of a team emphasis. They, they don't talk right about it. Because from here, you got two and a half months of the national tournament. you got to find out individually where you're at, and there's a lot of good individuals here that are ranked above us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Rio Wrestling. Here you will find no sleeper holes, no turnbuckles, no steroid stooges or crazy costumes. Hey, you gotta shake his hand. Yeah, you do. You gotta shake his hand. That sucked. I got score more. Too busy playing frickin' tallywhacker with him. That was nice, Eric. Steve Mako, the freshman phenom, is still undefeated. Among heavyweights, He's now ranked number four in the nation. And for Josh Budkey, one more chance. You know, there's the fear of uh, looking bad. There's the fear of, you know, letting people down. I think that's part of what, uh, you know, maybe holds me back at times. And the reasons I don't wrestle to where I'm capable of. I think just having the opportunity to to really, I guess, separate myself from the other guys trying to make the lineup, and for one reason or another, not getting that done. I think just having the opportunity to to really, I guess, separate myself from the other guys trying to make the lineup, and for one reason or another, not getting that done. Get it! Get it! Get it! I think that's, that's the biggest thing that is frustrating. He's had so many chances. You gotta learn. Right now, he didn't show the coaching staff that uh, you know, he's ready to step in and fill up. You know, maybe, maybe again, maybe he's wrestling too tight because he knew, hey, this is my last chance. And sometimes, when you have that uh, kind of mindset in, in any competition, you don't wrestle like a capable. You wrestle too tight. That, to me, is what he looked like at this tournament. In high school, Josh was a three-time state champion. It all seems like such a long time ago. They're somewhat on track right now to kind of make people turn their head and look and say, wow, they're coming out of nowhere, even though they're the, the great tradition of 30 years. Don't let him get a hold of you. Smack him in the head, slam him down, two on one, hard, solid stuff. Hard, 
solid basic stuff takes it. Midlands champion gets a jacket. Mike Zadig now has two. dominates early, then holds on. He becomes the youngest heavyweight champ in tournament history. Clock watcher. Can't be a clock watcher. Watching the clock the whole third period. He wrestles like a dog. That's the biggest match I ever wrestled before. I just my pants. You know? I could have got out and took him down. I just froze. Hey, you're ready and you go out. You're hard ready. The fourth place finisher on Michigan State University. I hope that's University. an extra run. <laughs> Cheers if it is. <laughs> I'll never wear it. It is an XL. <laughs> Iowa loves the unexpected. Take a kid no one's heard of. Rev him up. Turn him loose and watch him chew through the competition. Come on. Pick him up. Here we go, both hands. Oh. 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 Cliff Moore, champion at 133. Son of a gun I haven't seen. You are strong. Iowa takes the team title. And for the first time this season, Coach Zaleski seems satisfied. Good to see you next time. Right. 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 